No Offence But, where we discuss the uncomfortable topics, drop the truth bombs and have the raw and real conversations that make you feel socially acceptable. <laughs> Guys, if you've enjoyed listening, please ensure you give us a follow and if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe for more updates. Lastly, don't forget if you tag and share us on social media, you could be in with a chance to win £100 each month. So girls, a bit of a change up today. Mm-hmm. I just think we, I do feel like we bring a lot of value to this pod, a lot of serious chat, but I think sometimes it's just good to break it up a little bit and get down itty gritty with the icks. <laughs> <laughs> We asked our audience, yeah, we asked our audience what their icks were. We had some absolute slappers <laughs> come in. I've got some of my own personal icks, which I'm very excited to share. Yeah. So I just think, let's go, let's go with the, the punches, roll with the punches. Roll with the punches, with girl. Then. Let's hear it. Right, my first ick is... So these are your <laughs> personal <laughs> ones, right? Listen, guys, when we said about ick episode, I was like, right, let me get my little list of notes out. <laughs> When he drops the receipt, the wind's blowing and he's running <laughs> after it. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? And you're sat in the car watching this guy run around for his Tesco receipt. I'm just like, bro, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> and he's there bending over and he misses it and the wind keeps blowing it. <laughs> and he's, he's still chasing, bent over. And he's chasing like a little monkey. Um, yeah, absolutely kills me. Ick. Oh, ten you're out of ten, ick. such a dickhead. That's so funny. Because we funny. do it, but it's not an ick for females, but for men, absolutely fucking <laughs> ick. <laughs> okay, but I feel like people don't really know what icks are. What is an ick? Like, what actually is an ick? Like, ooh. for me, no, like, for yeah. me, what an ick is for me is that we're getting into a place where I'm like, oh, I like you, and then they do something like, I can't, no, ick. Go is on. an ick at that the point it. where it, it's no return? The point of, yeah. Okay, I've got accurate. some more bangers then, but go Wait, on. That receipt is no return. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I just want someone that's like, bro, let it go. I'm let sorry, go. I'm just ruining the environment in this moment, but I can't let my girl get the Would ick. you feel the same if it was like a 50 quid note he was chasing down the street? Oh no, I'd be like, bro, you go get that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd expect him to like, die for it. You know? Okay, very <laughs> good. <laughs> I feel like you need to have this conversation with guys on a first date. Like, by the way, this is an ick. This is an ick. This the thing is, I am someone that doesn't get the ick ever, really. But the reality is, knowing that this was coming, I actually do. But it's not even it's not even an ick because it, in the sense of I wouldn't date somebody. For example, another ick. I'm coming, coming hot with them <laughs> today, guys. I just would not date. The biggest ick of them all for me... Uh, when people wear branded designer shit so blatantly. If you've got like a nice little Ralph Lauren, mm-hmm. I don't know if people would call it designer, whatever. If you've got a nice little Ralph Lauren number, that's cute. But it's the Balenciaga, the Gucci logo, the Gucci Sunnies, oh, and like the Prada oh. man bag. Man bags oh, make so me feel good. fucking sick. Oh, that is an ick. That's that a whole number ick. ick. <laughs> but man like the whole branded ick. logo thing, I'm like, just settle yourself. I do feel a bit bad in the man bag thing because like they don't have like, all they have is pockets. How is they supposed to carry all their shit? Bro, Put you don't have on. makeup. You've got literally a phone, keys your wallet, your and your, cu- yeah, your keys. What else you got? Your lip gloss, foundation. <laughs> I don't know, like AirPods. Pocket. Um, Back pocket, cream. front if pocket. If you're black, you need cream. Right, you've got four black pockets. Black always Wait, need cream. Sorry, cream. This is what, very Where true. are you going with this like whole day? Is it like a day out thing? You look what, like you a dry cream. Black men really need cream. Like they get dry. Black people in general, like they always do carry cream around. Totally. See? What, oh, like okay. a little mini you hand cream to... though? Have you had of a mini? He can put that in his back pocket. It depends because like, we don't really do the minis and we like expensive cream. So, oh. <laughs> so like, no, I'm just standing oh. out for the men with the mammoths. So I'm like, look, if you're certain races, you need a bag. Like, Lacey is hurry. repping it. just gives me the idea of well, Like another thing, if you're black, like edges, you need stuff for your hair. You also need tissue if your hair's leaking or some shit. Like, trust me. What's leaking? Hair. <laughs> hair gel. Yeah, because... Oh. A lot on of a sweaty my day. Black guy friends, they get like really sweaty, yeah. And oh. their hair leaks. And oh, stuff. ick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know any black guys who carry around all that stuff. Yeah. Well, like cream. And what the tissue. fucking hair You're leakage. You're popping to the supermarket, right? Leave it in your car. You're popping to the supermarket. My keys with my phone. My keys with my phone. That's what you need. Wait, wait, wait. And your wallet. <laughs> and your wallet. You don't even got, pay. No, we've got Apple need, Pay. Yeah, we've got Apple Pay now. Yeah. No, I just think men have more to carry. I get I mean, it on a holiday. Men to have like a level now of like the way they look and the way they present themselves. What about spray? They need a spray. They oh my god! Bath. All this shit can be left in the car. Yeah, this is annoying. 
they can if they're going on holiday i get the man bag thing no i never no, understand a man bag no like if they're about on holiday and you go in like for an adventure what, like walk, a little bum bag got your little sun cream got your passport what, like, in there find, are you classifying a whole handbag or like a little man no bag? it's like the ones that go across the here ones. the chav ones <laughs> So yeah, I no, think I perhaps it depends on the like person. Still, yeah, I just know a lot of men, and I say specifically black men because they're the ones I notice need the most. Like white guys don't tend to cream half as much. All right, white guys. Which is guy, why we age so much. Yeah. I'd probably recommend some cream to people. Mm. Um, I'm gonna search every white guy's bag and be like, "You got cream in there, yeah. motherfucker?" <laughs> no. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Like even like, I quite like that. Like I find I've dated loads of black guys, and I find they always need bags because they're generally like always got like wipes or they're always so like big on their hygiene and like the way they present themselves so they need a kit for that shit and I really love get it because I'm always like can I have a wipe yeah can I have some cream yeah can I have some like, <laughs> I don't have that stuff no I get that I get that bag. so I respect it okay. so a man bag for me I'm okay. okay okay that's cool I get it first, but first. yeah I think it's maybe what race of guy you're into. Maybe. maybe. I'm still spinning on the leaking head. (laughs) No, no, when they've got like cows and stuff. No, I get that. But (coughs) when the hair gets like. Yeah, you've overdone it with the curling custard and then it's, yeah, okay. When you drop the sweat, when you drop the sweat, that's when I was like. In a club, especially. Yeah, but just oh, go into no. the toilets and get a bit of tissue and patting yourself down. There's nothing worse than a sweaty guy. The you problem know, with the tissue is that can get caught to it. Yeah, it's it can. Everywhere. What was you talking about that they needed? A little this? cloth? Yeah, have a, a little cloth. cloth. Like, yeah, oh. or like a little towel, like flannel kind of thing. I, I hear that. I get that. That's that's a thing. Or like a decent tissue, like an actual decent tissue that won't. It's not going to stick like to your face. Starbucks tissues are excellent. Have you ever done your makeup and yeah, been a bit sweaty? Pat. The pat of a Starbucks yeah. tissue. Wow, See, little, men need this stuff as much as we do. I feel like we've got to give credit to the man bags. All right, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not that. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so the oh, room is the divided. Next, I'll the next one. Okay. This is really strange. Oh my god. Is oh, this god, one that somebody filtered. sent in? Uh-huh. Go on. Some of the, I don't think I've got any personal icks myself, but I'm just going to sit here and think about it for the next few minutes. But guys who use filters. Oh my god, I've got a story for you. <laughs> <laughs> this literally happened three days ago. <laughs> Right, I just had a no fucks give energy this day on the dating app. And this guy I matched with, I think, you know, like I say, there's not really much going on in the dating pools. I thought, you're kind of fit, but I kind of can't tell because every fucking photo is a filter. Even videos he'd uploaded was a filter, right? So anyway, we were talking and he was like, oh, are you one of these ones that just, you know, swipe for the sake of it and don't message and stuff? I was like, no, I'm just trying to work out whether I fancy you or not because of all the filters. Oh, no fucks given. I was just damn. like, don't come for me like that. I've yeah, literally just the... woken up. Fuck. Anyway, <laughs> and then he was like, I don't have a single filter on my photo, and I was like, really? Please, can we see this profile? I need to. No, because I did. I actually deleted my app. What happened? Why did you delete this? I just needed a breather. Hey, it's like every other month. Babe, you don't understand. Look at these judgy bitches. If you're on these dating apps, you know that it's totally normal for you to feel like on a Monday I'm gonna find the man of my dreams. On the Friday I'm getting rid of the dating apps and I'm just gonna stay single for a while. And then maybe on the Saturday you pop back on. It's you just how it goes. Saturday. And also, <laughs> if you jump back on the dating apps, it brings up like all the people again. You got a fresh batch to go through. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. fresh the batch, you know. But yeah, the filters. This is the weird thing. Do guys get the ick when we use filters? I actually think they do. I think they do. I think, I think they, they do. do. They just mm. don't say anything because they're so afraid that we'll attack them. It's my personal choice if I want to use a filter. They're terrified. I think men despise it when we use filters. Yeah, yeah. I do. I do for sure. I think they hate him. It's really the fucking bunny ears, the I weird nose. I have a friend and the guy said to her, like, why the fuck do you use filters? You just, you don't look good and all your friends think it as well. And I was like, whoa, Ooh. you're, oh at- I was so shocked. And I was like, he's actually an arsehole. That's you know how like savage. when women edit their bodies and stuff and yeah. men do that too? Like, I think it's icky for well, You think men, men do that too? Absolutely. Absolutely. Wayne Lineker, are you having do. a bubble? Have yes. you seen? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Wayne, to throw you under the bus. Because <laughs> obviously you're going to be listening to this on a Monday. <laughs> um, he uploaded a photo, I think it was like last year or maybe a year before. And it's like, you know when men just want that nice rip look on their arms? He'd like brought the arms in to give him that muscular look. <laughs> and it made his arm look like a fucking worm. He <laughs> looks so skinny oh. and icky. Um, yeah. Oh my God, it's Ming. Ming. So I think... Filters are an ick all round. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. But I do love to, I love to use a filter though, personally. Face filter, but I don't mm. filter my body. No, that's... I used to when I was fat. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, just shit. like only, only ever really on the um, my like upper arms because that was something I was like really self conscious. Just to like bring him in a little bit. What, I like, feel like everyone stopped doing that though now. I don't feel like anyone edits the bodies, do they? No. I don't know. It depends who you follow, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Next one. When they post a selfie in the club holding a grey grease bottle oh. and wearing sunglasses inside. No. Fuck that... you, you big fat icky bastard. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me Yeah, sick. I agree. <laughs> uh, you can see it just sunglasses. Now, <laughs> Literally. Oh, and a massive grin. And their shirt undone. And they're like all like sweaty. Greased up. Yeah. Oh. Like oily. <laughs> Sarah, oh, please, that's disgusting. Come on, man. <laughs> they're all greased. Oh, no. How do you feel about flip flops on men? That don't bother me. It depends on your feet. Yeah, if your feet are clapped, feet. Get, them up, get your dirty little trotters away from me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Do you know what? I feel a bit of a way about sliders. I hate sliders. I can see why. Sliders yeah. are trampy as fuck. I'm sorry. But I don't really know anyone who wears sliders, though. Lazy I really don't. <laughs> you wear sliders? sliders? <laughs> Where? I'm pretty sure you turned up in my house once with socks and sliders. And I was like, all I right, granddad. I probably wear like Birkenstocks. No, no, these oh. were back in the day. I'm judging you. Oh my God. I have like, well, I used to have like indoor sliders. You know, just when you want to pop out. Mm. I hate like yeah, indoor I get shoes. That. I hate outdoor shoes inside. Yeah. So I just wear sliders by the door. That used to be my outdoor shoes. Yeah, I think, do you know what? I actually think flip flops is quite a nicky one for a lot of girls with men. Because they've got quite hairy feet and stuff, haven't they? Yeah, men don't have the prettiest feet. But you know what? Ultimately, they. Let their feet air out in the summer, know, man. Which one? To wear fucking trainers in the middle of summer. Foot. <laughs> oh, that's a Let niche. them. I, I I don't know anybody who wears them, but you know what? Flip oh my flops, gosh, sorry. Thing. When he calls his mum, mummy. Guys. <laughs> you know, I was in Bristol at the weekend. Oh no. He was godfather. Oh, bless him, man. I love him. I love you. I love you. I love you. This is not a diss, but he calls his mum, mummy. Man's almost 40. No. Oh, no. And even when he talks about her, oh, I'm just coming to Northampton next week to see mummy. No, no drop me off. Fuck, did you just drop say? Me off. Drop me off. Yeah, he says mummy. And he what has... would you do if you're in the car, right? You're on a first day and then you just see mummy come on the car screen. Like, just, hey, mummy. Well, like, drop me off at this fucking service. <laughs> okay, Hollywood home. tuck and roll. Oh, no, I would. God. I would. Um, yeah, it's actually very funny because I literally know a guy who calls his mum mummy. We were talking about it this weekend. I think it's weird as shit. I told him. I said All... it's giving kink and he was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's a little bit kink. And he was like, "You're sick in the head." I was like, "I'm just no. saying." Yeah, I don't like it. He's it's... probably the one that walks around his house dressed in a nappy, like on the floor or all fours. <laughs> That's kink. But yeah, <laughs> absolute ick. Someone's really funny, but you know when you see men like. <laughs> Struggling with all the shopping bags. <laughs> See, that's And they're weird. walking really People fast. Like weird. <laughs> a little model. <laughs> a penguin model. Yes. I've never thought of that as an ick, but now I'm going to oh see it God. so differently. But I don't know if it is an ick for me because I'm also admiring the fact you're only doing one trip. I'm like, bro, if you have to do two trips and a shopping trip, that could also be an ick. <laughs> so I mean, no fun. win. <laughs> no win for them. <laughs> that was wow. just someone from our thing here. Let Hashtag let men breathe. Someone yes. said voice notes before you've even met them. Oh, that, oh that's girl, girl, it. Is that a girl, guy? Somebody that's said what? Get voice over that. Come on. Nah, get a grip, Dave. Get a grip, babe. I Nothing wrong get, with the voice note. I can get a little bit sometimes. Like, I remember speaking to someone and they were like straight in with the voice notes. I was like, oh, this is different. But it didn't ick me. But no, oh. it's not. That's No, I like. I, I like, think that's quite cool. Yeah. The, it shows they're confident. Yeah. And I and he sounded like Jude Law, my first voice note. And I was like, oh. Mm. Or when he got a sexy accent. Just posh Jude Law vibe. Nice. And I, mm. I, Definitely I, not an ick. I fancy Jude Law, so it was a win win. So I had an ick that I put on the social media where a guy was like, I put a selfie up and he put woof and a dog emoji. <laughs> oh, stop <laughs> it. I still can't understand that though. Ugh. Is he calling you a dog or? <laughs> no, like <laughs> woof, like, yeah. Ruff. Dog on heat. Yeah, well, I'll come for you, oh. girl. <laughs> 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 because clearly that is how you have to picture that fucking weirdo <laughs> doing that. What do you mean <laughs> woof and a dog emoji? <laughs> <laughs> Animals. <laughs> oh my god. Lion. <laughs> 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 that would have given them the wrong idea. Yeah, sure. true, true, true. Honestly, what the fuck? 
Yeah, that's an ick. That was icky. Right? I was like, ew. Totally. Icky. I know what one it, an ick is. Um, when you're with someone, like you've got a boyfriend, um, people can obviously see that on social media, and then a guy messages you like, oh my god, he is so lucky. Oh, is that an ick? Is that it? It's an ick. Oh, oh, no. oh my god, I, I never do. get that. So I'd be that. That's a really <laughs> good comment. Yes, I mean. <laughs> Oh, so it never happened to me. No, ew, ick. That's Go why we're away. not expelled by it. Sorry, send them to us when you get them. Yeah. Can you forward? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I know, girl. How'd you get that on the regs? No, I don't actually. It did happen the other day and I was a bit like, ooh, get out of my inbox. Yes. And I'm pregnant. Oh, like, come on, man. Yeah. Some yeah. men that yeah. love a little preggish chick. Yes, they do. Mm. Lack of confidence. Bad teeth. Lack of confidence, I mean, yeah. Bad is... teeth, yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. I Nick. mean, it's hard because sometimes it's not your... Well, is it your fault? If you ain't looked after you... I guess... What do you mean bad as in, like, really bad? bad. Or brown? Or... To me, it's going to be the whole sense? brown thing because, okay, no, no, not everybody's lucky enough to have a perfect set of teeth. I mean, hell, I paid seven grand for mine. So mm. I think that, to me, would be brown teeth, fucking black like shit bad in the breath. corners. Yeah. Mm. Well, who kind are of these guys? <laughs> Hearing them fart on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That is such an ick. That is such a ick. disgusting that is ick. Ick. It's not that random fart. When they're just like... <laughs> no, that's <laughs> fucked up. That don't bother me. Uh, it's actually making me angry. It's really fucked up. <laughs> I fucking hate farts. It's so disrespectful. We were having this conversation last night, weren't what, we? Fart bubble. Love bubble. L- no, love puff. Love puff. No, Ew. it's rank. It's that is rank. rank. I always think like when someone farts, it's in my mouth. Like, yeah, really I, can it. I can taste it. it. Like oh. ketchup and onions. <laughs> 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 Obviously, you won't watch Step Brothers if you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Just farts aren't for me. They really upset me. They're highly offensive, and I don't want to hear you fart. Fuck off. I used to get trapped under the covers. I was saying to Queen last oh. night. My ex used to trap me under the covers and go, "Love pub, bang." Oh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> you're fucked. That's an it. Yeah. Oh, that's such an ick. That's a Violation. That's a violation. A violation. What did I say to you last night? I said like I'd call the police. Worthy. Yeah, that yeah. That's so disgusting. <laughs> so disrespectful. The disrespect. The disrespect. Um, I thought this was quite funny. If they own a pet bird or a reptile. <laughs> <laughs> Humongous ick. Ew. Who who sent that one in? I've never heard that before. <laughs> that that is, but they need an award. That is brilliant. But there are is their boyfriend the ick? I don't know. Well, let's ask. Oh, oh my lord. We'll ask her. Oh gosh, this is quite funny. <laughs> when a guy trying to get out of the back seat of a two door car and they're wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe that again. Breathe that again. When, when, right. when a guy is trying to get out of the back seat of a two door car <laughs> and they are wiggling trying to get out. <laughs> <laughs> like a little <laughs> TT. That is an it. Oh, oh wow. Or You're not even savages. worse. No, 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 even worse. <laughs> when they have to get out to let their friend out the back. You that's are even more of a part. Or they get so they, they get stuck on the seatbelt and they're like <laughs> They're like, I can't push the seat back. I can't push the seat back. Give me a hand, bro. Bro, get out the car. Oh, my God. Oh, no, you guys are savages. Oh. I'm not sure how I feel about this next one, guys. I don't know if it's an ick or not. And this is what makes me think sometimes people are just weird with their icks, but it is funny. Um, A man said, am I getting a kiss at the end of the date? Is that an ick? If somebody yes. asks, am I getting that's a kiss? That's so icky. Ew. Yeah, I like that. just a bit awkward. Yeah, can, you like... me, can you give me a little kiss at the end? <laughs> no. Are you going to give me a blowjob? <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> <it's> just... <laughs> no, but Whoa, whoa. That's not what it said, no. Holly. That's but not what it said. Same. What guys it's... are you dating? No. Shut the fuck up. It's the same thing. Like, you just don't ask. You do. Like, people like the nice bit of, like, spontaneity. I think, ill ick. When you ask me for a kiss, it's an ick. That's literally icked me out so much. Straight away, I'd be like, I need to go. I'm sorry, but I need to leave. Mm, <laughs> this wow. isn't going to work. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, what are your thoughts? If somebody said, can I get a kiss at the end of the day? I'd feel so awkward. I'd just laugh and just be like, mm. So I block and delete them after. Do you know what? Sure. I had this happen on a recent date. I don't oh. think he listens to these podcasts, but he's very aware of it. If you listen in, shout out. <laughs> um, and he kept grabbing my hand and he was like, so do I get a little kiss here or outside <gasps> of the car? And I no. was like, 
Obviously, I was actually a little bit drunk, so I ended up kissing him. But there you go, it worked. We don't talk. You know anymore. what? <laughs> I'd be okay with we that. It's not an ick for me. There's all, there's actually something quite That's gentlemanly so and sweet. That's no. so gentlemanly. Ooh. Do you know what? I don't think at the me end at all. of the date, maybe it's like, oh, would it be okay if I kissed you? That's gentlemanly. No, no guys. No. I think it's more of if you click with them or not. If you're not really clicking with them and they say... Then it's an yeah, ick. Then you're yeah. like, yeah. Uh, That's if the problem. you're really vibing and he's like, you so be, do I get a kiss? You'd, you'd be like, like yeah. yeah. No, exactly. No, exactly. Yeah. Posture. Yeah, it, it's the vibe no, of the person. You're spot on. No, no, no. No, no. I do not care. And We're not 15. Please do not ask me. Like, but then I like women the are out here way. crying about yeah. boundaries. What's wrong with somebody politely asking, checking you're okay with that? No, I don't mind like, oh, do you mind if I lean in for a kiss <laughs> if like you want to be that boys. polite? Or, you know, if I'm like stepping back. But not like sitting there like, do I get a kiss later? What the fuck is wrong with you? No, it says, am I, a man said, am I getting a kiss? That's even worse. Am I getting a kiss? At no, the end what, of the what, day. your mum? Like, who you do you didn't get one. Oh, mm. oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm okay with it. I'm no, okay with it. Icks. Oh my God, I've got an ick. Guys that kiss their mums on the lips. Oh, fuck that <gasps> shit. <laughs> fuck no. that, that shit. That should be illegal. Yeah, like, that should that. be arrested. We're fighting. That's, that's, that's like, like you knew, now, I think. If only you knew what your mum did with those lips last night, bro. Mm. Oh, my God. Holly. Mm. Sorry, I'm salty savage. you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, babe. It's a little four-way thing going on there. Guys kiss Holly their mums. Holly put a really Oof. funny one, actually, when they put a steering lock on who does that Let in 2023? Who puts a steering you lock do on? Need to this day no, I know we do. <laughs> That's the problem. Or, or one worse, one worse than the steering lock when it's summer. And they get the metal reflector oh. and put it across the windscreen. Yeah, but that's so handy. No, I'm gonna. That's, no, I'm it. not here for that. That's, that's giving yeah, granddad well, I'm not, vibes. I'm gonna get into my car. It's gonna be cool when he really thought about me. Now. But I don't know. I'm just like, why are you so organised to think like that? That's not the guy that's I'm looking for. That's a good for. thing. Yeah, but Wait, imagine I'm that organised to think about. Yeah, is that red flag? Stop red flag to once again. We need to go back it's, to Holly's therapy session. It's <laughs> the height of summer. And you're getting into his really nice car with black leather seats. Yes. And you're in a really nice get outfit. Get air conditioning and get it going before the car starts. Oh, God. Yeah, only Tesla's doing that. Literally. My car does it. <laughs> anyway, next one. I'd, I'd just take the, the foil cover. Yeah. <laughs> um, men in denim shorts. No, that's not a nick. That's so funny, actually. We were in a sh- Me and Stu were in a shop the other day. And I was like, oh my God, these denim shorts are really nice. And he was like, I cannot believe you picked up denim shorts for me to wear. They are <laughs> disgusting. And I was like, what's wrong with denim shorts? I do feel many denim shorts is weird. Oh, really? I've got this neighbour. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's weird. Is that who it's is? Not, but no, it's not like on this road. It's across the road over there. And as I'm driving up, I swear to God, every week he's <laughs> in these denim shorts. <laughs> But they're hot pants. No. <laughs> no. But a couple of times I've had people in the car with me and they're like, have you just seen? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've seen weekly. Weekly. I need a picture and his mum will, oh, I'm going to get a picture. <laughs> his mum will be like out there and I'm just like, mum, come on, like give some love. Wait, how old is he? He's in like his 40s, bald head, Wait, glasses. I don't, but listen, I know a lot of 40 year olds that live with their mum. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's a, you know. No, but I mean, he lives with his mum and he wears hot pants. <laughs> <laughs> like something seriously good. Does he kiss his mum on the lips? He yeah, it's the same guy, isn't it? He is. <laughs> all of these icks. He has the steering <laughs> wheel and he has the silver <laughs> on the front. <laughs> um, oh my God. Years and years and years ago, I used to, where I used to work, it was summertime. I was working that weekend. It was my shift to cover as the manager. And this guy who was quite old in age, like, you know when they're bald, like they've got no hair here and then it's long on the sides? Oh, no. Like a monk type vibe, <laughs> right? That's what he looked like. Um, oh God, I almost said his name because his name makes it hilarious, but I won't do that. He came into work one day with shorts so short. <laughs> you his name like, home, his you? bollock was hanging out. <laughs> no, stop <laughs> right now. Lie. Yeah, he like... <laughs> His bollock popped out when he sat down. Is his name Pasquale or something? (laughs) (laughs) His bollock like popped out when he'd sit down and he was going to the dishwasher and he bent over to put his cup in. No, 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 no. no. Little bollock. Yeah, I had to send him home. It was. What did you say? Did you say your bollock's hanging out? I literally did. I said, (laughs) "Jim." That. Yeah, believe it. It's so <laughs> yeah, I said, I can see your bollocks. Please go home. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, wow. this is so unbelievable. I can't believe it's happened to me. <laughs> Fuck off, you pervert. Take your bollocks home. Oh my god. Oh, oh my shit. god. People who clap when the plane lands. Oh, <laughs> no. Those <Get>. motherfuckers. <laughs> 
Or they stand up early. It's like, bro, where are you going? The you clappers. Going? The clappers. What are you clapping? Who the said that? Job oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, we're best mates. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you oh, so oh my god. What okay. about those guys who have one long finger? No. Oh, that's you ever seen that? That's like an Indian thing, isn't it? Like I don't religion, know. Though. Like, uh, what's it I don't for? Know. It's definitely a cultural men thing. So I've, I've noticed it many the Chinese. The Chinese men have it. Black men. I thought it was a sign of a drug dealer. I thought it was a drug dealer thing. Yeah. But what do they do with that little finger then? As a drug dealer, it's like sniff it the coat, or I'll cut you, bitch. With their nail? Yeah. What, mate? Sarah's face, like, what on earth? Yeah. Holly defi- definitely didn't grow up in the ghetto. <laughs> oh, yeah, I really did it. MK45 over here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's got... a Nick back in the day. The What's fucking that? postcode bullshit. Oh, That's still... MK42. That's yeah. still a thing though. Fuck Is it? You. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's so Nick. pathetic. Don't come after us. When, when guy... he has coloured socks. Oh my god! Is this is this me that wrote this? Then <laughs> yes. I knew it was me. That's why I was like, "What is? Why is that an ick? I needed to yeah. think about this." What colour socks are okay for you, Holly? I'm just gonna call you out, my friend. You know who you are. You're listening to this. It's the pink socks with the cats on. I just can't <laughs> deal. <laughs> I love you so much. Oh my, cat. Oh my pink god. Sock. His mum brought him for him, which oh, is great. Oh, that makes it ten times worse. He's me. He kisses his mum on the lips too. He does. <laughs> it's sweet, but it's just an ick for me personally. Wow. I'm sure there's her. loads of stuff that I do that's icky to him, but I'm sorry. Yeah, what are some of your icks, do you reckon? What people hate about me? Like an ick that you're like, oh, men would think this is so icky. Has about me? Got, yeah, like, has anyone got any them about themselves? Fucking perfect. What are you on about? <laughs> no, I'm trying to I'm, sure, no, I'm sure it's icky. I don't actually, know. no. Actually, no. So my friend <laughs> said, your car's a bit of a nick, isn't it? And Whoa. I was like, sorry? He goes, yeah, it's just a little bit icky. I was like, okay. Why is your car icky? I don't know. I think it's because I don't like a bit a drug of a show of car, yeah. Well, yeah, but that's the things I like. I like no, that's, bad that's bitch That's the whole car. point of it. Okay. Yeah. She I'm has surprised. always had like nice. Yeah. I've always had like nice. <laughs> since I could, um, like, you know. Afford them. Uh, afford since them. the Corsa. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> an ick. What, the Corsa? <laughs> yeah, all my fucking Ford KA banged up, that's it. But yeah, he called, he called my car a nick and I was like, okay, okay, hon. Damn. It's so quite harsh. funny. He changes his WhatsApp picture every couple of days. How that's me. Out? I do that. I'm, I don't I'm think the that's ick. an ick. I don't As think that's man, an ick. Though. No, I think that's an ick. For a man? Yeah. Why? Because I do. No. No, yeah. I think that's an ick. Why are you changing it so much? Fucking keep your display picture. That's just as bad as him using filters, Why are you I changing your picture all the time, Holly? Because I just like, like if I've got a banging new picture, I'm like, oh, this looks cute. This is more frequent. Like, Because I've the other picture I had. What are you dating it for? It's like me, me. Profile, if I just feel good, then that's me. But and I'm always changing up my dating profile. I take a new picture, and I'm like, okay, this is more. You got to keep up with the current times. The picture before was me of my businessy one in the black and white. I don't have a fringe there. That's a Holly never ick. <laughs> <laughs> the icks are flowing out of my own mouth. <laughs> uh, long toenails. Oh, that's yeah. disgusting. Oh, Cut them talons immediately. That's Wait, someone said when they text like they still have a Nokia thirty three ten, and I'm a texter, <laughs> so I'm an ick. What? Say that again. They said when they text like they still have a Nokia thirty three ten. Oh, oh, yeah, that's the with the short. So, like, you never use iMessage. You're always like, oh, who uses like, iMessage? I'm like, T- I only T K T for text. Yeah, some. Or shit like, like right, mate, M eight. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's a nick. Oh, that's that. a nick of people. Oh my god, that oh, is definitely god, a nick. That is such an when I people yeah. text like that. That's really, I hate it. Yeah. M8, yeah. mate. Oh, Just no. write the word, or mate. UK. You Like, no. Yeah. No, darling. I hate that. That's, yeah, that's okay. Like, that I feel really, like, like you can't. W, U, 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 I hate that. I feel like you cannot text like, like that past 20. Yeah, you just got to stop. Yeah. This one is. I've thought of all them letters that it is. You may as well have just written it. Well, do you know what? Somebody said to me, he was like, you are so annoying because you write everything perfectly apart from gunna. Like I write GNA and I've never noticed it until he said. So I've oh been gosh. writing it like gunna. He was yeah. like, it actually irritates the fuck out of me that you do For that. Real? So that's now, it. now if that's I say- That's your ick. That's my ick. Oh, like another one, ick. three <laughs> icks within the space of two minutes. So yeah, if I write it now, I'm just consciously like, I type gunna. But Damn. I suppose it's just slang anyway, isn't it? A bit slangy, yeah. Weird. What about when he tries to- 
when he tries to break into the next driving lane and nobody will let him in. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nick. But also you're an arsehole if you don't let someone cut in. Another I'm always cutting bitches so out. So how do you I feel, feel like, like when, um, say, if a guy is driving and he doesn't let people in, would you think that was icky? Yeah. I'm not sure I'd notice. Am I really paying that much attention I to the think road? You, I just think you're such an asshole. Like, I get it. If you let one person out that's there, but if you do the whole, like, two, three, it's like, no, 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 don't let... We've got boundaries. <laughs> I've got boundaries on the road, just nowhere else. <laughs> but no, like, I just think be kind and let someone out if they're waiting. Otherwise, yeah. it's just going to be no movement. It's a bit of a give and take. Mm. But yeah, so I'd be like, stop being an asshole. I'm getting out of the car. Ick. I had an ick quite, like, once. <laughs> once. I've got, you got the ick ones. <laughs> Yeah, basically, um, we was eat like went for a day for lunch, and then I was like, "Oh, I want this," and I went to the toilet, and then I come back and they'd order me something different. I was like, they're all like, "Oh, you really like this? Really like this?" I was like, "I don't want that. I want this." Like, he was like, "Yeah, cool. I might like this, but I really wanted this." Come back, fucking ordered me the thing they thought I wanted. When I See, said I wanted to give it I'm kind of split on this because apparently it is like the gentleman thing to do to like no. order a woman's drink or order like food. Well, like some women I like didn't that. Want. If you'd said that you don't want that already and then they do order, yeah, okay, I mean, then yeah, that's, yeah, that's really not like even that. an ick. That's just being a knob. That's, that's just some being a knob. hierarchy shit that I'm not down for. Yeah, that's a <laughs> did bit you um, um, but It was like he was trying to be really nice. I was like, this is icky. Did you eat it? Fucking want to eat? Yeah, fucking eat it. Wow, so that's. Actually, a real life ick situation. That was a real life. You've just made me think of an actual real life ick situation, and like I said, I don't get the ick that much. Apart from Are you this, sure? Apart from <laughs> this, this episode. Yeah. No, but the thing is, like, we're laughing about potential things that could happen, oh. right? And we're laughing about it, but in real life situations and relationships, not really. <clears throat> so I had this boyfriend. And every morning he would always have a bottle of water on the side. He'd wake up so thirsty. <laughs> you know when they are like rinsing the bottle dry, it's like, <laughs> and then it, the air like, starts <laughs> going out the bottle, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and every morning he would do it to the point where I broke up with him. I was like, no, I was like, you're actually a fucking ick. Stop doing it. Oh Get a glass gosh. of water and do the proper human yeah. thing and drink out of a glass. But you might like a glass. Water. Yeah. Okay. But you don't need to drink it like it's fucking, you know, Gandhi's. <laughs> it was like the Sahara Desert and that was the last bit of water that Every he morning. could drink. Yeah. My main concern is why are you so thirsty in the morning? You don't yeah. care. Well, everyone's thirsty in the morning. You Not to that level where right. you're guckling. No, I know. Well, maybe, I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe it was a snore and dry mouth. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my oh, God. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You go first. No, you go first. Dribbling. Yeah, dribbling. <laughs> <laughs> dribbling. And also, when they've got like that white crust oh, down there. Oh, man. don't. Oh, I don't. So that's so gone from an ick to a gag. How do they not know that's there? No the amount of conversations them. I've had. Can you not feel it then, I take it? No, you no. can't. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Okay, I've got an ick. <laughs> When someone like, says they like hot spicy food, <laughs> oh, no. they're really dramatic and they're like, <gasps> really hot, I can't eat. <laughs> and you're like, you and fucking like, loser. Why'd you say you liked it then? They're front in. They're, they're front in. Oh my and God. they're just like, <sighs> and they ask for a glass of milk. <laughs> up and they're like (laughs) (laughs) and you're sitting there like I'm just eating my my dinner with your korma oh my god I can't what I find really weird is that like we find these so icky (laughs) men but it's not so icky (laughs) no No, but okay so wait no if a woman did fart and was like fucking me that would be icky surely no because if it was an accident you're like oh pardon me (laughs) (laughs) no because it would be a cute Cute little fella. Like, no, what is not? No, no. Oh, still okay. icky. I always shit. go to the other room if I need to fart. I'm always like, oh, I'm trying to fart. I said this to you last night, didn't I? I, I can't. We're keeping you up, Queen. <laughs> wow, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I said this to you last night, didn't I? I can't bring myself to fart in a room with other people. It doesn't matter how long I've known you, how long we've been together. If I need to do that, I'm leaving the room. 
Yeah, I'd rather have a stomach. Have ache. you ever? Yeah, I was just gonna say when you got like a new boyfriend's house and your stomach is just building and building oh. and building, and you feel like why does it always happen at them moments? Yeah. It yeah. always Never does. Any other time. You're by yourself in your room, like mm. it's always when you're in like pressurized situations that doesn't need to happen. Do you know what? There was this one time I had such a bad stomach. <laughs> oh my god! What about fanny farts after oh. sex? Oh my god, that happened. To me. Yeah. <laughs> I think this happens to the best of us. Yeah. Fanny farts are very after doggy, awkward. Normally. Yeah, after yeah. Doggy, yeah. After the position. For okay, I'm really one. glad we've just normalised that. We definitely should talk sex positions at some point. I feel like <laughs> we've got a lot to talk on that. But yeah, the fanny farts after doggy is a lot. Mm-hmm. Is that a nick for men? Apparently it's not. I don't think But I don't, I don't know if so. they're just trying to make us feel better. So Maybe. that we go back to them. <laughs> They're I can't imagine. Yeah, they're probably used to it. I can't imagine it would be an ick. Scientifically, it's like, <laughs> what can we do? <laughs> yeah, there is nothing you can do. Probably There's really no proud control. Of after. <laughs> there is no control. There's no control. Oh, well, yeah, when it comes out, it's like, <laughs> and you're just like, like oh, oh no. Oh, God, it is bad, yeah, isn't like, it? It's my bitch. <laughs> See, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my vagina. Oh my god. <laughs> it comes out and then you're like <laughs> And it doesn't stop like a bit. I can't breathe. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so oh funny. Oh, okay. That's so okay. Ooh. Right. Any <sighs> any more else? I feel like I need okay, to Okay, so <laughs> Matt, stop him running. Like if he's running, it's fine, but it's a weird run to walk. <laughs> they're like at the traffic <laughs> light. <laughs> when you're in your car, jumping through, they're just walk. <laughs> on the floor. Oh, <laughs> well, get your steps in. <laughs> like it's just just it's stop. Just like, if he has a headband on, it just. I'm <laughs> <laughs> really sure what to do. <laughs> <laughs> he'll jog and then all of a sudden he'll stop and then he'll start jogging again and it's just like what's the actual point <laughs> what are you doing oh this is so bad oh I don't think that's an ick guys what that is such an ick what do you want them to do run into oncoming traffic you've got to wait for it to pass no, I know. there's nothing they can do about it just stand still icky. Just stand still. I, I know what you're doing. It doesn't kick me, but it is funny. It is funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't date runners. So I just can't. Literally. Like, if you're running anywhere, I'd probably be like, what are you are running for? But yeah, maybe just go to the gym instead. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Is there any more? Oh, I think that's enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might piss myself. In. And I don't want to give anyone else another excuse to give me a nick. <laughs> oh, babe. You're like the ick collector today. I really am. What really do you think am. our icks are? What, the, what, like, I what think we, we should do. go around the table and say an ick about each other. <laughs> oh, oh God. God. No, I'm joking. That's savage. We we want the Imagine podcast to continue. I don't really about you guys. Yeah. No, I don't really. I'm trying to think of an ick of myself. I mean, I definitely or, okay, do, but wait, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She does. What about that an ick just in women in general? My biggest icks in women is... Bad hair and bad, you're just bad hair. There's just no, no need. It really <clears throat> bothers me. What do you mean, bad hair? Just shit, like dry, brittle, fucked oh, up right. situation. Yeah. Shit wigs, shit weaves, shit extensions. Like, massive ick for me. If your yeah. hair is that battered, I beg you, cut it off. I, I had to, and it's not that deep. Bad hair is a thing for me. I definitely have an ick of myself, I think. If I was in a relationship with me, I'd be like, ew, ick. <laughs> like, you know when, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's almost like you're in a situation and, like, I'm in my masculine trying to fix it, and it's like, it just, oh, I'm trying to look at the you situation, give yourself but I can't the explain ick. it. I think I have the same ick yeah. about myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I think and I'm I don't know that. how to say that, but I feel like energetically, <laughs> I'm vibing with your ick yeah, right now. Yeah, it's so, when now I'm looking, I'm like, ew, it's so icky. Yeah, God. yeah. I really need to stop that. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> like when you might catch an old Instagram story or something of you, I don't know. Oh my God, no, I'm icking. Ah! Oh my god, yeah. Old ick post. Oh, yeah. basically older versions of ourselves are so icky. That is, I hate it when it comes up on the time hop or something and you're just there icky. Like die. dying at what your old fu- status. Yeah, Googling, can anyone else see your old 
for real. I'm just like, oh, and it's only like last year, and I'm like, fucking hell, what last am I going to think of myself <laughs> this year? <laughs> that is an ick, though, when you're trying to, like, <laughs> obviously you're talking with your partner and it's a masculine job, like something to do with cars and stuff, and you're like, no, well, it's not like that, it's like this. That is yeah, actually, that's really that icky. is an icky. Yeah. Yeah, or like they're trying to start a situation and you try to get involved. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's it. That's, yeah. it. That's, yeah. that's it. That's exactly <laughs> that what I'm ick. thinking of. What's your icks about you? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. I think men, some men, find women that swear in it. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. you know. Love an F-bomb. You that know, is true. I'm a big ick when it comes to swearing. Do you swear a lot? <laughs> she does definitely swear. Yeah, it's weird. To be honest, like, it's really hard for me to tell because I don't ever really speak to anyone. <laughs> like, I only ever speak <laughs> when I'm here. No, but like, here doesn't really count because, I don't know. I feel like I do all my talking here and that's it. I don't talk to anyone else for the rest oh, of the time. Amazing. This is good for you then. Yeah, I don't <laughs> swear at home because obviously Madison's there, so I never swear there. So yeah, mm. I don't know. I feel like I go through phases. I think it depends mm. what part of my cycle I'm on, whether I swear a lot or not. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously I'm a little bit more like sweaty and hot and bothered, so mm. I swear more. Or if I'm like more it- irritate- ir- irritated and whatever. I yeah, I get really... that. I do need to stop it though. It's definitely on my goal board. Yeah, me too. It's just not very like It's weird not ladylike like and yeah. feminine energy. It's not very feminine at all. No, but yeah. sometimes I just love an F bomb. Just Sometimes swear words just like get it across so much more better. Do you know what? Um, when I like listen to you know all the inspirational, motivational stuff. Sometimes when someone drops an f bomb, it actually wakes you up. Mm. Yeah, I dropped a couple of f bombs in my um, interview thing last night. Did, Did you? Yeah, I was just like, fuck it. Another, another one. Well, this has been very insightful. I'm really sorry funny. if anyone has taken offence, but we are called no offence. But exactly, mm. we do not give a fuck. <laughs> I. I think we should do this again and we should actually give the opportunity for a man to come on and, and tell us yeah. it's about women. Yeah. And we have to take it like little bitches. Yeah, because it does feel that. one-sided. Obviously, we've got oh, a huge yeah. female following, so that's a lot of our icks have come <laughs> from them. Like, but yeah, there is no female icks. <laughs> <laughs> or if a man doesn't want to come on because they feel like we'll, you know, annihilate them, which we promise we won't. We'll, like, you know... <laughs> I can't make that promise. And just take it. Um, you can obviously drop us a message in the next question box and we'll get as many men as possible. Yes, we would we love to hear discuss. the icks from the men. Mm. Yeah. yeah, leave a comment below on the YouTube video as well if you're watching that. Yeah, we would love to hear your ears. Bye.